Hello, this is AC Blender Tutorials. Welcome back to our tutorial on creating a Minecraft mob. So first, there's some cleanup. In our last video, I'm going to have to change the... I ended up messing up the scale when I flip the bones over, so I'll have to go through and adjust the rolls. But the main thing we'll be doing in this video is scaling the rig down. So originally created it so the one Blender unit is one pixel. It just makes the modeling and the initial skinning a lot easier. So you're not dealing with all the fractional dimensions and everything snaps cleanly. So right now in this video, we're going to scale it down. But first, I'll just quickly go in and fix these rolls. So I go into edit and I'll set this to the normal. So you can see the proper orient or the orientation. So I want the down position to be positive X rotation. So that corresponds to a roll of 180. So I need to set a 180 roll on all of these bones. So this bone will have 180. And I'll check the other bones too, just to make sure I didn't forget any. 180. And yeah, I'll have to do the animation bones too. So yeah, remember that we had multiple sets of all of our bones. So here's one. I'm just going to go ahead and hide that. And now we're going to do the other one. I'm just pushing H to I hide. So after I properly orientate the bone, I'll hide it just so it's out of the way. Hide it, 180. All right, so those are all fixed. And now for these, same thing. Yeah, it looks like a roll of 180s. Take care of these. And there we go. Now let me check this. Yep, that's where I want it. I got the head is where I want it. Technically, this could be confusing because so far everything going rotating downward is positive. So I think, yeah, I think I'll keep the head this way, but just something to note could be confusing. So anyway, now for actually scaling the mob. So what I'm going to do. So I'll go into object mode. I'll edit the mesh on the spider. I'll make sure my cursor is the origin. I'll set my transformation center to the 3D cursor. Select everything. And I played around the scale. So if we scaled it down to regular Minecraft block, it would be 1 divided by 16 scale, because that will make one of these blocks 1 16th of a Minecraft block or a meter. So now if we did that with the cave spider, though, so if we scaled it down by that much, uh, let me go into pose mode, and you can see this easier. So if I were to scale it down that much, uh, scale 1 divided by 16, you can see this is one Minecraft block. You can see this is way too big for the cave spider. They are not this large. So I played around with it with some reference pictures, and I found that it looks about like 80% of that. So that works out to zero point, a clean 0 0.05 scale. And this looks about right to what the size of the cave spider is. So I'll undo that, and let's go into edit mode now to scale the mesh and everything by that amount. So to scale 0 0.05, again, about the 3D cursor. And so now we'll do the same for the bones. So now we'll select all the bones, scale 0 0.05. And let's just make sure all of our bone rolls came out OK. So that looks good. Yeah, it looks like everything came out OK. And 
And let's just go into pose mode, make sure these work correctly. Uh, I'm not grabbing the animation down there, but you get the idea. Everything's rotating along the correct axis. Now he's the correct size. And now we're ready to start on the skinning steps. This is where we're, we will create the drivers for the leg bends, and then we'll move into the bone shapes in the next video. All right, I'll see you then. Bye.